Barnet take on Aldershot tomorrow in the National League. I'm joined by manager Dean Brennan. Dean, how have the preparations been for this one? Yeah, recovery day Tuesday. Um, debrief obviously, obviously from Tuesday night. And then um, sort of from late Tuesday morning, we moved on to Aldershot. And uh, they've been in fine fettle, to be fair to them. Um, so, walked on Aldershot uh, yesterday and obviously today. So, um, a short period of time and a quick turnaround, obviously, from the defeat to the night. But this is the good thing about football. You always get another opportunity to put things right. So, we're looking forward to the challenge. There's been a little blip in our results this last week. What's been the message to the group to keep the chins up and going into the next one? we just got to manage games better. Um, you know, when I watched the game back, we were outstanding, really. Um, I think they had three, uh, in total, they had uh, five shots on our goal. All just going to score four goals. Um, when they got, when we got, when they got back to two-two, obviously we took the lead, which was good early doors. We scored a goal, funny enough. Ryan de Havilland's goal wasn't offside; it was given offside. We scored really early, um, and we did well then, obviously, to score again. And they scored top of their first attempt in the twenty odd minute or whatever it was. So we did well to bounce back and make it two-one. Um, but then when it went to two-two, we just started becoming a little bit kamikaze in our performance. And sort of um, everyone was doing their own thing, and I think that you know we've got to be we've got to stick to the game plan, um, which put us in a strong position initially, and um, yeah we got we can't give teams something to hold on to, and I think to be fair to Altrincham when they got the lead and they had something to hold on to they did really well with it, so um, give them credit. But from our point of view, we just got to, we've got to make sure we stay patient, stick to the guidance we give the lads, and um, if we do that, we'll win more games than we lose. Do you think that's down to tiredness at all? Yeah, look, listen, we've won a long run, isn't it? You know, we've been in a lot of games and we've got a squad now. We've got a squad where we can rotate. So, um, our midfield wasn't great during the night, I've got to be honest, in second balls. Uh, you know, that, that's a possibility. Um, but we'll, this is the position we want to be in. And if you asked for this position at the start of the season, it would have snapped your hand off. Quarters of the trophy, um, 15 games to go. Um, you know, in the position we're in, fifth in the division. So, we, we would have... Had, you definitely snapped anyone's hand off for that, but so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how tired we are uh, tomorrow. We have older shot tomorrow. They got a point against Chesterfield the other week and lost in the last minute to Wrexham as well. What challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? Yeah, uh, they've got good speed, um, good creativity, um, and they're well organised defensively. So yeah, look, they've, 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 they were good. They were good against Chesterfield. They gave a real good account of themselves against Wrexham. They were very unlucky in the end to sort of lose that game late. Um, and even at Dagenham during the night, they kept going and they were 2 0 down and scored in the last minute. So they've got some good spirit, they've got good speed with, with, with Justin, a player I've worked with before. Um, the boy Glover's a talented player as well. So they've got some really good players, to be fair to them. And uh, they've done great of late, so it's going to be a, a difficult challenge. I know you saw new signings, Courtney Senior and Finley Potter, have had a full week under the belt. How have they settled in into the camp? Yeah, look, listen, they've come in and it's not ideal losing games of football that we have over the past seven or eight days. So, um, yeah, Courtney, Courtney's got loads of ability, loads of speed. You see, he's a direct, he can play wide, he can play wing back. Um, and to be fair to um, to Potsy, I think he's been excellent. I think, if not, he's been our best defender in, in, the, in the last few games. So, um, he's done, reads the game really well. Distribution's excellent. Uh, he's a good defender. Um, he's got a big, a big and bright future ahead of him. So yeah, the boys have been good. They're, they're, they've settled in well. And um, what we've got to do tomorrow, which is so important for them lads, we we need to step forward, really step forward, and uh, produce a performance and a result that's needed. And finally, any update to the team news? Um, now, Paulie trained this week. Uh, Jordan Thomas come back in training this week. Um, so we've got some options. Ideally, we'd like them to have more. Uh, more minutes in their legs, they haven't had any games and we don't get an opportunity to play any reserve team games because we're playing Saturday, Tuesday. So, and um, we've had to walk them hard. Jamal Lozo comes back from loan from Darford. So he's an option for us. So we've got plenty of options. I've just got to select the right ones. Dean, thank you for your time.